But what I do know is I'm getting 37% of my income taken away every year. 37%. Before we get into it, I just want to say that I'm not qualified to give any legal advice and I'm only sharing my personal experiences. I encourage you to do your own research. I'm also located in the United States, so it's probably going to be different depending on where you live. First, let's talk about the legal structure of the business because that's going to determine how you pay taxes. I own an LLC or legal liability company and that separates me from my business. That's really useful for taxes and if you were ever to get sued or something. I would recommend forming an LLC once you made around $1,000 in revenue or before if you have a large budget. I wouldn't recommend naming your LLC after your Shopify store just because you're probably going to have multiple Shopify stores and other business ventures that you can put under your LLC. Forming an LLC costs around $350 and another $200 per year. You can form it on LegalZoom.com. Taxes are split up in two ways, state and federal. State taxes are a little more complicated, so we'll get into those in a second. As far as federal taxes go, you should definitely see a CPA to figure yours out. I'm honestly not 100% sure how mine work, but what I do know is I'm getting 37% of my income taken away every year 37 percent but anyway if you're making at least a little bit of money you're going to have to file federal taxes every april and i recommend seeing a cpa at least a few months in advance when it comes to state taxes they're already really complicated and they're about to get a lot more complicated originally you only had to charge state tax for purchases in your state but the supreme court has recently ruled that now all states can charge sales tax. The thing about this is you have to pay a different tax rate for every county you sell to on top of the state rate. There's thousands of counties in this country and I just cannot wait to figure it all out. To fill out state taxes, there's a little sheet of paper that you can get from your state's Department of Revenue by signing up online. I really hope that answered all your questions. Honestly, I'm still figuring out all this tax stuff, but as I continue to learn, I'm going to be sharing my experiences with you guys. I'm also interested in doing an in-depth video on this with a CPA, so keep your eyes out for that. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you think I deserve it, and I'll see you in the next one.